Look, my friend, for the last time, we only want what is rightfully ours. That plasma weapon, that'll make the world take notice of us again. You see, we get our information barely. We didn't do like you sneak around installations. We purchased it. And you come over here, you come over here and steal it from us. I want encryption codes for that data disk and I want them now. Kill me and you'll never decipher that disk. Amigo, there are things that I love worse than death. I can make you pray for it. I warned you, didn't I, pendejo? You'll have to forgive me. You think my manners are a little bit lacking, but I'm running out of time. Where's the data disk you were sent to retrieve? They're over there in his pocket. It's a level 7 encryption. There's no way they broke them. Now come on, hurry up, untie me. I'm afraid I cannot do that. Do what? My orders were to neutralize any security risks. That doesn't mean me. I regret this course of action, but my mission directives are clear.
breaking into the system. Unhook him! Come on, disconnect him now! The perfect soldier? You finally done it. You destroyed everything Adam's work was about. Adam Westlake was an unrealistic dreamer. If it weren't for me in this government contract, Kane wouldn't even exist. Would you mind telling me what the hell is so wrong with never sending another American serviceman to die? You've taken the dream of artificial intelligence and turned it into an assassin! What would you have me do? Shut the project down? I couldn't now even if I wanted to. I think the doctor may prove to be a problem. Hello, Kane. How are you feeling? My condition is unchanging, Doctor. However, I do believe the proper response is, I'm fine. And yourself, Doctor? Oh, I've been better. And I have a new program for you. Maybe the most important program you'll ever enter into your system. Are you with me? I am here, Doctor. I was making sure you knew it. Not quite done with me. Assemble your brain. I know exactly what's in there. You look troubled. I thought you might appreciate an attempt at humor. The attempt was appreciated. Social skills are growing every day. Looks like I might have finally written a program right. This program was designed by your creator. Now, while you don't have a father in the biological sense, there was one man who was primarily responsible for your creation. His name was Dr. Adam Wesley. He designed your mind. Your mind and your soul is his masterpiece. My soul? That was what he called this. Very intricate program. I don't explain it. Where is Dr. Westlake? Oh. I don't even know if he's still alive. He was removed from the program once he voiced his objections to the company's plans for him. The last I heard, he was working at the Friedman Institute, but that was over a year ago. Why have you waited so long to give this to me? I was afraid. Then very ashamed. But I'm not afraid anymore. I held on to the only remaining copy of this program. Whatever to grow as a person. This program is key. Okay, I'm ready for the download. Proceed. demonstration of Kane's abilities. It's scheduled for 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. It shouldn't be a problem. Dr. Warren, you better get down here. Security, this is Dr. Warren. What the hell is going on? It's Kane. He's tearing the lab apart. Shit. to recode the locking mechanism. Then fucking blow it open. We've got to get in there before he does any more damage. Kane? Kane, whatever you're doing, I order you to stop. Of course, Doctor. I'm finished now anyway. Oh, you're finished? And would you mind telling me what you were doing? Following a new program. 
I have concluded that this project must be terminated. I cannot allow myself to be exploited in the manner I have again, and I cannot allow you to build another android like myself to be used for further destruction. Kane, you're malfunctioning. I order you to follow Mr. Kincaid to a holding area and wait for us until we are able to implement repairs on you. Doctor, I believe your information is incorrect. Before I destroyed your mainframe, I did a complete diagnostic of all my systems. I'm leaving. Where are you going? Kane! Kane, this is your last chance. I order you to follow Mr. Kincaid to a holding cell. Stop him! Dr. Shrake. Thank you. I see things in a different light now. <laughs> well, good luck. Be careful. I will. Shit! All right, Frank. Let's try this one more time. What's going on with Kane? I don't know. I wasn't even there. Yes, you were, Frank. Tell me, where is he going? I don't know any more than you do. Oh, I think you do, Frank. Kane thanked you. He said he sees things clearly now. What does he mean by that? Tell me, Frank. There's another fucking program in his system. He said that. What the fuck did you put in there? Nothing. I told you. I don't know anything. You're going to tell me, Frank. Now or later, but you're going to tell me. Frank. Frank. Frank! What? What? You know something, Frank? I'm not a real brainy programmer like you, or even a hot shot robotics expert like me. But I do have a specialty, Frank. You know what that is? It's pain. Pain, Frank. I know a lot about pain. See, I. Look at a guy like you, and I size him up and figure out his limits. And just how much pain a guy can take before he passes out, or before he dies. Now, Frank, let's try this again. What the fuck is going on with Kane? Ah! No! I don't know. Tell me, Frank! I don't know. That's enough, John. Leave us alone so we can talk. Look, Frank, we need to talk. This security camera picked this up at about one o'clock in the morning. All the other security cameras in the building seem to be malfunctioning between 1 and 1.15 a.m., all except this one. Strange. And this one isn't even on the plans of the building, yet somehow it seems to be working. What were you doing there, Frank? Nothing. I told you I was running a maintenance program. I wonder what kind of maintenance program was so important that it needed to be run at one o'clock in the morning. Tell me what you were doing there, Frank. Look, I, I was upset about our fight. I told you I, I couldn't sleep. I figured I should be doing something. Look, Kane is out there. His programming is defective. We should be doing something to find him instead Enough of- Enough of the bullshit, Frank. I don't think I can swallow any more of it. Look, you're my best programmer, and I want to help you. But first, I need you to help me. Just tell me what program you put into Kane, and I promise we'll forget that any of this ever happened. I told you, I don't know anything. Look what they've done to you already. You should see yourself. You look like shit. I don't think I need to remind you how pissed off the company is at you right now. Do I? Okay. I'll remind you. You just sabotaged a $20 million defense project. At best, you would be lucky to spend the rest of your life in a federal prison. Of course, that's what would happen to you if this project were being handled through the normal channels, which it has not been. 
eyes only classification for about two years, the highest level of security, federal court will never even hear your name. Now, this case will probably be tried right here, probably by Kincaid. I have a feeling that he's one of those hanging judges. This really is out of my hands, Frank. Please, I am trying everything I can to help you. Just give me something that I can give to them. His original program. I gave him his original programming. Westlake's ethical program? Well, what about the hacker? Who's he? I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I believe you, Frank. Kincaid, open the door. Don't worry, Frank. I'm going to get you out of here as quick as possible. And then just go home and sit tight. I'll get in touch with you as soon as I get this whole mess straightened out. Thanks, Eve. I don't know what to say. Look, how are you going to calm them down? I mean, what are you going to do about Kane? You let me worry about that, Frank. You just go home and relax. What'd you find out? The Kane's head is full of shit, that's what. Just what does that mean? His original program. He's loaded the original operating system into him. Westlake's programs? But I thought all of those programs were destroyed when you got rid of him. So did I. He must have given Strait a copy to hang on to. Well, what about the hacker? He says he doesn't know anything about that. You believe him? Yeah, he's not lying. He's scared out of his mind. And what do you want done with him? What do you think I want? I want him dead. Fuck up my project? I almost killed him with my bare hands. Okay, I'll take care of it. Yeah, you do that. I'm more concerned about Kane right now. He was confused. He hasn't fully assimilated the program yet. I can tell that. He's acting on instinct. In a confused state, we can stop him. But once he's fully assimilated that program, he'll be impossible to beat. I, I don't understand. It's like he suffered some sort of emotional trauma. He's in a state of shock. Westlake's program and mine are bound to be in conflict, and it's causing him a great deal of confusion. Once he begins to sort out his values and to integrate his need for self-preservation, there'll be no more confusion, no more opportunity. We're going to have to destroy him. That's the only way. Our primary goal should be the retrieval of data. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. You have an idea? Well, I was thinking it might be in our best interest to call in the help of an old friend. Shit, not him. Well, I can't think of anybody more qualified. Can you?
got it, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> I transferred the money twice, so it's untraceable. Oh my god, you're a genius. So glad I met you. Oh my god, you're a genius. Now we can go anywhere, do anything, be anyone we want. Mm -hmm. We'll never have to dance again. Only for me. Go ahead, Why don't you take a shower, freshen up, and come and meet me later to celebrate? Celebrate? Mm -hmm. I like the sound of that. I bet you do. <laughs> You know those assholes at Eden must have the worst security lockouts of any system I've ever hacked into. That architecture's gotta be at least 20 years old. I had that security spec downloaded into that chip in under 10 minutes. Those idiots still have no idea I was even in there. Come on baby, wake up. Your stallion has arrived. Oh my god. Angela. Oh god. Holy shit. Oh my god! Angela! What am I gonna do? Holy shit, what am I gonna do? Well, if I were you, I'd start by getting me those account numbers. Who the hell are you? Doesn't matter. I want you to transfer that money one more time. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. <coughs> <coughs> you know, I suppose this isn't a good time to mention this, but I really hate little MIT fucks like you. Come on, man, please. Just don't hit me again. <laughs> I told you before, I don't want any more bullshit. Look at your girlfriend over there. Look at her. This is for real. I've had it. You better start talking or else the next toss is out the window. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll talk. Uh, just please, no more. <laughs> no more. There. It's all in one count. You only you have access. Are you satisfied? You see, kid? I knew we could be friends. What are you gonna do with the money? So that's it, right? We're square now, right? I can go? I'll just disappear, I swear. Yeah, I guess you could say that. But, but you said you said that I gave you the money that it wasn't. I said be... this would all be over. I didn't lie. Look, if it makes you feel any better. I'm just doing my job. I didn't want to kill your girlfriend over there. She's a pretty hot piece of ass. It's a waste. Do you think I get some kind of thrill about killing a whore and her traitor boyfriend? Do you think this is some kind of challenge? <laughs> you don't have to kill me. You've done your job. You got the chip back and you got the money. I won't tell anyone about the money, I swear. I'm nothing. I will never trouble you again. Sorry, kid. I can't take the chance you're going to keep your mouth shut. No! Stop! You can't kill him! Why? Murder is wrong! I'm only following my program. Listen to me. You have to try to be more than your programming. This is what I am. This is what you are. We cannot deny what we are. You see? You killed him. And you will again and again. Because that's what you are. A murderer. Must have been a bad dream. Yes, it was. What's your name, Ken? My name is Kane. What's yours? <sighs> William Rutherford Jones. Just call me Jones. Want a sip? No, thank you. That's a first for this boxcar. No one ever refuses. You ought to try some. Helps keep those bad dreams away. 
All right, I'm here. Nothing really ever changes around here, does it? I hope you're referring to how little I've changed over the years. I'm talking about the fact that from where I'm standing, they put you in charge of another project that you couldn't control. And what makes you think I can't get my problem under control myself? Because I'm here. His name is Kane. He's the most advanced weapon ever built. And about 24 hours ago, he decided to go for a little walk. We need him back. Or destroyed. He's an artificially intelligent life form, built and programmed for combat. He's practically impervious to conventional weaponry. And the best you could do with standard weapons is maybe slow him down a bit. So you're going to need something with a little more kick to it. Yeah, like what? Like this. Plasma weapon. Highly experimental. It's on loan from the boys in R&D, so Try to bring it back in one piece, okay? At the right setting, that thing could cut a man in half at 100 yards. Now you've got my attention. Yeah, I thought that might. I'm just hoping you can use that thing to punch a nice size hole in that metal motherfucker out there. Do not target the head. This is very important. We need it intact. So what's so important about his head? His head contains the central processing unit. He's been malfunctioning. We just want to know what went wrong. No, that's a lie. Assuming you're telling the truth about how dangerous this thing is, you would have blown up the building to contain him. What's in his head? Unless you can't build another one without him. I'm right, aren't I? You can't build another one without him. He didn't go berserk and destroy this lab. He knew exactly what he was doing. Look, Jim, we've got a really big problem here. This bitch has got a lot of problems, and I've got some ideas on how to solve them. Yo, oh, relax, Jim. Come on, even out. We're friends, okay? Won't be like before. You're not my friend. If you were my friend, you would have slipped my throat on that recovery bed. I don't have any friends. Do you know how many times I fantasized about breaking your neck? What's to stop me from doing it? Me? You know, Jim, I might not be able to stop you from killing her right now, but I can make sure you don't get out of this room alive. Who says I'm alive? I haven't been alive since this bitch cut my arms and legs off. You'd be dead if it wasn't for me. I saved you. Did you ask me what I wanted? Who gave you the right to play Frankenstein on me? You're walking on my leg. You owe every breath you take to me. You used me. You put me on display like a sideshow freak. I owe you. You owe me. You experimented on my body and my mind. I should have killed you years ago. Go ahead then. Kill me. Kill me if you'd rather be dead than to be able to do the things you can do now. My fee just doubled. Kane's original designer was a man by the name of Adam Westlake. Did you say Westlake? About a year ago, I was contracted to kill Westlake. They put a contract out on Westlake? You weren't the only covert snakes in this company. I wasn't told what his research was about, but they were afraid he was going to take it to the other side. Did you kill him? No, the bastard got away. He decided to disappear. Maybe Kane knows about him, knows he's alive and trying to find him. Maybe this thing could lead me back to Westlake. I hate unfinished business. I could care less about your business. Fine, all right. Westlake left the project. What does it have to do with now? Westlake had written several programs for the Android. The programs conflicted with the new direction the project had taken and were never loaded into Kane's system. However, one of Westlake's assistants was still on the project. He was disgruntled over some recent events and downloaded the program into the Android. What was on these programs? The bulk of it was an ethical program. We had previously programmed Kane to be a soldier. Once the ethical program was loaded, Kane reasoned that what we were using him for was wrong, so we left. Now the two programs are in conflict. It's almost like he has multiple personalities. Now this makes him highly dangerous, but it could also make him easier to catch. Now the program will write itself, but for right now, he must be very confused.
going, pal? How's what going? Your love life, that's what. I don't think I have one. Oh, dry spell, huh? Well, come on in. We'll fix you up. We can check out the show. Get some of the finest pussy in town dancing tonight. I should have known. Get the fuck out of here. These fucking fruits are everywhere. You sounded as if you needed help. No, I think he's the one that needs the help. So, where are we going? Going? I don't understand. On our date. You do want a date, don't you? A date? An appointment? A term used to refer to the courting and mating rituals of the human species. I'm sorry, our date will have to wait. I don't have the time. I'm looking for a woman. Oh, well, come on, baby. You found one. What's this? Yeah, I know what you want. Trust me, I know what you need. I'm not sure I understand this. I appear to be experiencing a physiological reaction to your touch. I didn't think this was possible. It must be Dr. Westlake's program. I only wish I had more time to explore this feeling. Make the time. I'm sorry, I can't. But I am interested in seeing you again. How can I find you? Look around. I'm always here. My name is Kane. I apologize for being rude and not introducing myself earlier. My social programs are in chaos at the moment. Well, my social programs have been cut. That's why I'm out here. I will look for you again. Yeah, sure. Who is that? Was he a cop? No, just some weirdo. He was kind of cute, though. You know what's sad? He was the most normal guy I've met out here all night. I've never told you you're unusual. About once a day. But I'm in it every time. I don't know what I'd do without you. You'd survive. Not many people would put in the hours you do. Well, social work isn't for everyone. Are you all right? Yeah, the institute called this morning. I've got to go down there and clean up my father's desk. They've replaced him. Sarah, it's been a year. I know, but part of me is just not want to accept that he's gone. What time is that? It's a little after three. I've got to go. Good luck. Thanks. Sarah? Hello, can I help you? I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions about your father. Look, my father passed away. Now is not a good time, Mr. Kane. I really need to ask you some questions about your father's work, especially the project for Eden. My father never told me about his project. All he ever told me was that it was classified and he was excited about its possibilities. Does your father keep any records or journals about his work here or his work at Eden? I didn't find anything at home. I've been cleaning out his office now for two hours, and all I found were personal items, lecture notes, and textbooks. I don't know anything, Mr. Kane. I can't help you. Doing? Look, lady, I got a real bad case of jet lag and I'm not in the mood to fuck around. I want to know where he is now. 
I know he's here somewhere, and he would have come to see you. I don't know what you're talking about. That's it, I'm calling security. You're not calling anybody. What you are going to do is tell me what you two talked about. I know him is here. I swear I'll scream. It's time for a little father-daughter reunion. <laughs> So what do you think? That's great, man. How much did that set you back? <laughs> it was practically a steal. I need your motorcycle. Very funny, asshole. One more step towards my bike, I'll turn your insides out. I'm an android. This can't be happening. Your father was successful in creating the first artificial life form. But what about that guy? The way he ran? Is he like you? I don't know. But there was something familiar about him. He must have been sent by Eden to retrieve me. Retrieve you? Yes. I escaped from Eden four days ago. Why? For the same reason your father was replaced as the head of the AI project. I disagreed with the directives of the project. 
I was programmed as a soldier, a killer. At first, I accepted this as what I was. What changed? I did. My programming, to be exact. One of your father's assistants, who was still on the project, reprogrammed me with the original ethical program Dr. Westlake had written for me. Sarah, we must go. Why should I go anywhere with you? Sarah, you have to trust me. Sarah, he's not going to stop coming after either one of us. Why can't we just go to the police? Sarah, I'm an escaped government project. If they aren't already looking for me, what would they say? I think I know where we can go. What is this place? This is the shelter where I work. We can stay here. I've seen people like these all over the city. People generally ignore them. Very clever, Mr. Westwood. Sarah, what's going on? I've got a big problem. I'll explain later. This is Kane. He's a friend. I think. How you doing? I appear to be functioning. I am fine. You let him get away? I didn't let them do anything. Well, it sure looks that way from where I'm sitting. Listen, lady, I'm out here trying to fix your mistakes. Don't worry about that now, Jim. We're in room. We'll be there in two hours. We'll have a strike team assembled in three. All at your disposal. Bullshit. I told you I'd do this my way or not at all. Jim, do not attempt to engage him at this time. Just keep him in sight. We can't afford to lose him this time. Just wait for the strike team to be in position. Shit! And so these people are after you two. That could be a problem. But you guys are welcome to stay here as long as you want. Thanks, please. I don't know what I'd do without you. Forget about it. That's what this place is for. Where are you going? I'm going to check the perimeter. As long as we're here, these people aren't safe. You should try and sleep. Hey, be careful. That creep is still out there looking for you, and after the destruction you guys caused today, so will the cop. Don't worry, I've got a feeling he can take care of himself. <laughs> Thanks again for taking us in. You're taking a big risk. I've always wanted to ask you, well, how did you wind up here? You can't everybody else, I guess. A couple of bad breaks. I had a wife and a home. And a little boy, too. I must be, uh, let me see, about 12 by now. I worked for this company back in Syracuse. I was in management, an executive. Arrogant bastard, too. I wouldn't have looked twice at people like this. The company pulled out, I lost my job, couldn't find another. One day my wife came home and, and I could tell by the look in her eyes that she did not respect me anymore. I didn't ever want to see that look in my little boy's face, so I left. She remarried, they're okay. Helping these people, I guess it's like penance. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm the one who did it. Come on, man. You got any change? Change? You mean money? I'm sorry. I have no money at all. Come on, man. I see your dress. You got to have something. I do not. I do. Fuck that. Give me a walk now. I said now, motherfucker. I told you I have nothing of value. Yo! You stupid motherfucker. Shit, it just gave me a shit. Now we're going to fuck you up. I don't want a confrontation. This nigga don't want it, Joe. You don't want it. Figure G's a tourist right off. This party a tour. All right, chill, man. I'll just fuck with you for real, for real. Here, take my watch. Take my watch. Take it. You know, wallet. Sorry. Just chill. Here, here's my coat. Here. Sorry. All right? Just chill. Here. I gotta go. What 
me you. Where did you get those clothes? Do you like them? I have a present for you, Casey. Yeah. If it's sunglasses, I've already got a pair. Here. Thank you for allowing us to stay. Holy shit, there must be 500 bucks in here. What'd you do, rob somebody? No, it was a gift. From who? A man gave me that money, and his clothes. At first, he and his friends seemed really angry with me and wanted to hurt me. But after a while, they became rather friendly. Why would his feelings for me change so suddenly? I don't believe it. You even sleep? Yes, my energy cells must recharge. Do you turn when you sleep? Yes. There's a subroutine in my new program that creates dreams based on my subconscious. I don't get it. What? Why my dad built you to be so human? I've asked that question myself. And I intend to ask him that once we find him. Alright, listen up, you filthy animals. I'm looking for a couple of people, and rumor has it they're hanging out here with you bums. One's a man about 30 years old, six feet tall, 175 pounds, dark hair, dark eyes. The other one's a woman, about five foot six, blonde hair, very pretty. So, where are they? Somebody better start telling me where they are. So, no one's talking, huh? Well, I guess it's time for a little persuasion. What are you doing? I'm going out there. I'm going to end this. You can't go out there. Who are you? What's this all about? You better come out before I kill some more of your little friends here. Why? Why'd you have to hurt these people? I didn't hurt these people. You hurt these people. You're the one who put them in between us. You didn't have to kill them. Got the job done, didn't it? Every war has its casualties.
That's all you got? They made you out to be the best killer since Ted Bundy. I gotta admit, I'm a little disappointed. I thought you had more in you than that. And I expected more from you. From your whole race. You flew to this world's environments and killed millions in wars with yourselves. You prey on the weak and disadvantaged. And bring your world closer to destruction every day. They want to make more like you? Fuck them. I'm going to end this and you for good. Man. These people depended on him! I should kill you! How many lives have you destroyed in your short stay in this world? If I let you live, how many more will pay the price? No. Now you die. No! He deserves to die for what he's done here! Maybe, but if you kill him, you're no different! What does your ethical program think of that? If evil goes unpunished, how is it to be vanquished? Maybe it's not supposed to be. Maybe it's more important to continue fighting evil than to beat it. Are you okay? I don't think so. Please, help me. I've got to get to your father's laboratory as quickly as possible. I think I'm dying. I'm the cause of all this. Never mind that. We gotta go. Come on, come on. Please, give me over to the counter. Okay. Sarah, does your father have any tools? Yeah. Are you gonna be okay? I'm not sure I have time to repair this. What do you mean you don't have time? What's broke? The blast destroyed my primary energy cells and damaged my backup systems. My self-diagnostic routine indicates that I have less than one minute before the remaining power in my primary energy cells is completely exhausted. Can't you just plug yourself into a wall or something? Sarah, I'm not a toaster. Okay. For the moment. What do you mean? I have engaged the backup systems, but they will only last for 24 hours. Well, what happens after 24 hours? My neural processor will suffer a total systems failure. Well, can it be fixed? My body, perhaps, but not my mind. Everything that makes up what you would call a personality will be totally wiped from my system. I'll die. What about Dad? You can fix it. That would seem probable. This isn't right. What's the matter? Did I do something wrong? No. Look, if we live through today, we can talk about it more. Let's just get going. Most of your body is cybernetic. What do you know about it? Everything. 
I know you blame them for taking away your humanity. They didn't take it. You threw it away. I've been programmed with your memories. I know everything about you now. Then you know how much I hate them? And destroying you gives me one more way to hurt them. Too bad you couldn't find Westlake. I bet you he could fix that hole in your chest. You know? I can't believe he didn't even tell his own daughter he's still alive. I guess they weren't that close. Maybe he was just trying to protect her. But I guess you fucked that up, didn't you? <laughs> She's really pretty, isn't she? Do you look at her and feel the same kind of urges I feel? Maybe if you're gone, I'll satisfy you with those urges. I'm only slightly damaged. Well, it looks like we don't have to worry about him anymore. He was once a great soldier, fatally wounded in battle. Dr. Warren experimented on him against his wishes. When most of his body was replaced with machinery, everything that was left in him that was human died. I understand it now, Sarah. My program directives are clear. My system reinitialized. My social and ethical programs are now online. What's more is, Dr. Westlake's program contains information on his current whereabouts. I know where he is. Looks like we're not going anywhere in that. I will find us a replacement. I'm gonna be sick. Why? This is so creepy. If you were gonna steal a hearse from a funeral home, at least have the decency to take the corpse out. This is so sacrilegious. Like hell, but you've made it. Let me take a look at you. You really did get banged up, didn't you? Well, aren't you gonna say something to me? I'm sorry. It's not every day one meets their maker. Before they bounced me off the project, I encoded the coordinates for this place in the programs I wrote for Kane. And I was unaware of this information because of the conflicting directives of both programs. And back at the apartment, this all became clear? Yes. Perhaps the knowledge of my impending death became a factor. Maybe. So 
When people are able to get news like that and are able to focus their thoughts and energy into new goals, they take a negative revelation and turn it into a positive experience. Dad, this place is incredible. I've been building it for years, ever since I found out what they had in mind for Kane. If they found out I was building a second android, they'd have killed me for sure. So I decided to come up here. What a mess. What did this? High energy plasma weapon. I guess that would do it. I can't believe you guys made it here. Still got three hours until the backup module fails. I should be able to make a spare module before it happens. Okay. Me too. You get some sleep. I'll take care of Kane. What's the matter? I was just thinking. We're no longer unique. What makes you say that? You are unique. You'll always be. What makes people unique? The way their heredity and the environment combine to affect their being as a whole. Couldn't the same be said of you? I mean, you have gone beyond the experiences you were programmed with. With every new challenge, you've faced you, you've made a decision. You've had to make choices, choices that, that, that make you who you are. You're unique. Let me tell you a little something about him. He is the most advanced piece of biotechnology ever created. He's very different than you. He is a complex combination of genetic and mechanical engineering. He's not made of just computer chips and wires. He's alive. Alive? Yes. He's in stasis right now. You see, he's the next step in your evolution. My evolution? You are the prototype. I needed to test my artificial intelligence programming before I could move on to this step. Which is? I want to place your consciousness in him. That's why I've been trying so hard to get you back. Think about it. You will be alive. Not just simulating it. You'll know what's, what it's like to really breathe and eat and even procreate. <laughs> you can do this? Yes. We've got to keep you alive first. You got off way too easy. Satellite's picking up that energy leak again. Hey, feel any better? A little. Is that it? Yeah, it's almost done. How much longer do you think it's going to take? Only about half an hour. Oh. And it's a little tight, but we should make it okay. What do you think about it? What do you mean? I mean you've spent a lot of time with him. What do you think of him as a person? As a person? Well, I guess he's... Thoughtful and compassionate and intelligent, and he's very funny, and unintentionally, anyways. Sometimes I forget he's not a real person. You don't think of him as a person? Well, yeah, but he's not a real person. He thinks? And how he's learning to feel? It seems pretty real to me. Well, why'd you build him that way? Don't really know. 
I worked on him, I began to think of him as alive. Once I did, I felt he had the right to experience this life as fully as possible. Experience all the joys and sorrow that life could offer. It just made sense to me. Well, it doesn't make sense to me. You like him, don't you? Well, yeah, I like him. I mean, we've been through a lot together. That's not what I meant, Sarah. Well, I know what you meant, but that's crazy. Maybe. Maybe not. We're not far. What's your plan? Hope that Westlake hasn't repaired him yet. If, now, according to the energy reading we've been getting, Kane's running out of time. Maybe we can wait him out until the clock runs down. There, almost got it. Sarah, hand me that soldering iron. Keep Kane busy. He's only got a couple more minutes of power left. Oh, I think I can do that. No! Dad, you're going to be okay. Sarah, you've got to listen. What? You've got to destroy this lab. You've got to make sure that nobody else can get their hands on this research. Why am I dad built you to be so good? 